Yes, the following is true. Sean Combs, P. Diddy to you and me, bought his son a $360,000 car for his birthday, his 16th birthday, which begs the most obvious question. What's P. Diddy going to do for his son's 21st birthday? Now that's a party I'd like to go to. Now the real question, what car did P. Diddy buy his son? Well, if you must know, it was a Maybach, an Uber Mercedes, a lovely sedan that sort of looks like an oversized S-Class. Now, if I were young Combs, I'd be a little peeved at Daddy, Diddy, well, both. I would have said, Dad, why didn't you buy me this car? Yes, I'm here with the all-new Rolls-Royce Ghost, the baby roller, if you will. Now, this vehicle looks unmistakably rich. You see it coming down the road, you know it's a Rolls-Royce, you know it's expensive, it's elite. The cost, about $250,000, or 100 grand less than that Maybach that P. Diddy bought his son. To be fair, it's also about 100 grand less and rolls his flagship, the Phantom. So how does this entry-level Rolls-Royce drive? Let's go take the ghost for a spin. Now for such a sizable vehicle, uh, the Ghost is a little longer than a Family Flying Spur, but about a foot and a half shorter than a Phantom. It feels surprisingly small on the road. Now part of that is due to what's under the hood. A tweaked twin-turbo BMW V12 that puts out 563 horsepower. Now mated to a very silky ZF 8-speed automatic, this V12 has no problem propelling the 5,500 pound ghost from 0 to 16 under 5 seconds and through the quarter mile in just over 13 seconds. Now, if that sounds quick, that's because it is. Roll says the ghost is its quickest production vehicle ever. Now, another Part of that small feel is due to the chassis. Now, this vehicle is based on the BMW 7 Series, a much smaller, sportier vehicle, and a lot of the BMW 7 Series components and technologies are carried over into this vehicle. So what you have with the Ghost is active roll stabilization and an adaptive air suspension. So what that means is when you're cruising down the road, the air suspension is going to be set to soft and the stabilizer bars will be disengaged. So it's just a very plush, almost like you're floating above the pavement kind of ride. Yet when you come upon a twisty road, those air springs are going to firm up, the roll bars will engage. Then you, what you have is a car that stays pretty flat through turns, it's very responsive, it's actually quite sporty. Now, Rolf did this because they knew they were going to have a lot of new buyers coming into the brand. They predict with the Ghost that 80% of the Ghost buyers will be new to Rolls. So these are people coming from BMW, Mercedes, Bentley, and they want a car with a nice ride, but they also want something that is going to handle, it's going to be sporty and fun to drive, and that's what the Ghost is. Now Rolls Royce vehicles have always had the reputation of possessing some of the finest interiors in the automotive business. And in that respect, the Ghost does not disappoint at all. You really have a kind of a neoclassic theme going. You know, there's some classic features such as the analog gauges and clock, lots of chrome bits. There's the uh, large diameter thin rim steering wheel. But yeah, there are plenty of modern features to go in there with that. You have the huge high-res nav screen. There's available night vision. There's lane departure warning. You have side view cameras, backup camera, so a bunch of technology to go with those classic you know, heritage cues. And then inside you also have the amazing attention to detail and the impressive materials. The sumptuous leather, the exotic veneer woods, the chrome, you know, and it's all put together you know, in a beautiful mix and it's just, it's really stunning in here. And it's also very roomy, the back seat, 
tons of room to get comfortable and relax. There are TV screens, there are trays where you can work on, you can eat on. And this vehicle is really about motoring pleasure, whether you're driving in the front seat or you're relaxing in the back seat. Uh, you know, in, when you're inside here, it, it just really satisfies all the senses. So there you have it. We just finished our first drive in the all-new Rolls-Royce Ghost. Like the Phantom flagship, the Ghost possesses all those famous Rolls trademarks. Grandiose styling, impeccable interior, serene ride, and effortless power. Plus, at $250,000, it's a relative bargain compared to the Phantom. In other words, you don't have to be P. Diddy's son or even a multimillionaire to get one. Nope. You just have to be a regular old millionaire. But if you want one, you better hurry and get on that waiting list. Because like any ghost, this one vanishes quick.